In St. Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, we hear a beautiful reflection on love. St. Paul says, love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. There was a woman from St. Peter Parish, Canton, born February 22, 1888, named Rhoda Wise, who took these very words to heart. In her personal suffering, thanks to the guidance of a group of women religious, the Sisters of Charity of St. Augustine, and the accompaniment of her pastor, Monsignor George Habig, this woman embraced the call to holiness and responded to suffering with a growing, intensifying love. Rhoda Wise knew the weight of the cross. After only six months of marriage, her spouse suddenly died. Rhoda eventually would marry George Wise two years later. Together they adopted two children, losing one of them in infancy. The pain of suffering became even more exacerbated for Rhoda Wise, for her husband was an alcoholic who could not keep a job. Because of his job instability, Rhoda and the family had seven different addresses. Rhoda Wise would develop some serious health issues that included a 39-pound ovarian cyst and a broken foot that never healed properly, making it ever so difficult to walk. Rhoda also suffered from severe abdominal pain and digestion issues, resulting in numerous hospitalizations. Rhoda Wise was stricken with an incurable form of cancer and eventually sent home to die. Instead of giving up, Rhoda Wise continued to respond in love, opening her heart to the faith and becoming a Catholic. Rhoda Wise would receive apparitions of Jesus and even of St. Therese. In one of those encounters, Rhoda was cured of her cancer. Later, she was healed of her broken foot as the cast fell off her body. For nearly 10 years, it is believed that Rhoda Wise received apparitions totaling 28 in number. These visions deeply inspired Rhoda Wise to be the church, a living stone, if you will, by offering herself as a victim to save souls, most especially priests and members of religious orders. One of those healed was a woman by the name of Rita Rizzo, a Canton teenager who later became Mother Angelica. Many others have attributed their healings to Rhoda Wise. On April 3rd, 1942, Good Friday, Rhoda Wise received the stigmata on her forehead. A year later, the stigmata appeared on her hands and feet. Rhoda Wise died on Ju July 7th, 1948. In 2016, Bishop George Murray declared Wise a servant of God as the first step toward possible canonization. Once again, it will be my honor to celebrate Holy Mass on her birthday in St. Peter's Church. To this day, many people come from near and far to visit her home and learn more about this holy woman who exemplified love in trying circumstances. What an amazing story.